yet another truckload of junk but I actually have something good on here a couple of things I want to take off this mower here apparently all it needs is a blade driver everything else works and runs it drives it's got electric start I think that works I'm not sure but the blade driver is broken so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and maybe pull the blade driver off this guy uh, if it's got one looks like it's got a blade on there so it's got a driver pull that off that one put it on that one and uh, we'll see what it ends up being and I also have the starter here I want to test that out and if that's good I'm going to give it to my uncle because he needs one and I think everything else is pretty much junk the saw looks nice but it's locked up solid they didn't put uh, mixed gas in it and I got a couple of trailer deals for little wagons like that one I don't know if I'll do anything with them or not but uh, I got them we'll put them aside anyway so let's fire this up get it back to the garage and see if we can get to that mower now let's see if we can dig those mowers out of there I'm after. Those. Yeah, as you can see, the blade drivers uh, broke off. There should be a pulley on there. So, let's take apart the other one, see if I can get a good blade driver. Well, I went ahead and I put a splash of gas in this one just to see what would happen. And uh, here, let's see if I can pull this. And it runs pretty good, but it doesn't want to stop. <laughs> so you kind of got to 
kill it like that. So I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on, but it runs anyway. Yeah, maybe I'll steal a blade driver from it, or maybe not. I don't know. I think I will for now, just to see what I can do with that one. But and this one here, you can see the blade driver just completely broke off there. So I need to get to that one off of there and put on here and uh, see what we can do with it. All right, I got the old blade adapter off and the new one on. It must have fungered up, fungered up the shaft a little bit because I had to pound this one off. It wasn't easy at all. And I had to pound that one back on, so the end of that shaft, the crankshaft, must have a little mushroom in it or something. But I got the new one on, and uh, I'm going to go find a different blade if I can, because that one's a piece of junk that came off that mower. So I'm going to go dig in my barrels. There's a ton of lawnmower blades in there, and we'll see if I can find one in uh, a little better shape than that. All right, well, I dug through the bins, and I found a halfway decent blade here. I mean, it's wearing out on the on the side, on the edge, but the cutting edge looks all right. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. The blade's not bent. It's, uh, I think, a little bit shorter than what's supposed to be on it, but it'll still cut grass, and it'll, it'll bolt up there all right. So I'll throw this on, and uh, we'll give her a test, um, and if it works, maybe I'll come back and sharpen it but I mean that'll cut grass anyway so throw this on and give her a try all right it's got gas in it uh, I had to add a little bit of oil uh, but it's got oil in it now and let's give her a try and see if it works um, I had it on its side for a while so we might smoke or something but we'll just see if it starts and see if we got a good mower we'll try the key first yeah, it don't seem to do anything, so the electric start's not cooperating, but you can still pull it. and not wanting to shut off today. Well, I'm definitely going to have to figure out why it don't uh, want to shut off, but other than that, it seems to work good. Well, I got the cover off here, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty hairy under here. Dirty and nasty, but uh, I think I found out why it's not, why it's not shutting off. That thing goes up in there and it's supposed to connect in there somewhere, but I just pulled on it and it, it came out. So that's why it's not turning off. So I'm going to blow this thing off and then uh, see if I can figure out where this thing is supposed to go. If I can do that, maybe I can wire it back in. But uh, until I get it blown off, I'm not really going to know if I got to take the flywheel off or not to get to it. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll figure it out. Well, I'm way farther into this machine than I wanted to be, but uh, looks like this wire, I think all that happened was it came unplugged from there. And of course, it's under the flywheel, which is under the coil, so you had to take all that off, and it's under these two covers, and I pulled the starter out of the way just so I could see what was going on, but I didn't really need to mess with that. So I think if I just plug this back in, I should get my, uh, my ground back to the coil and uh, it should shut off so I'll take this explosion and put it back together and we'll see if it works all right I've got this thing back together and uh, if I did it right I should be able to pull it and fire it right up and then uh, when I let go of the handle it should die like it's supposed to let's see if I did it right
Well, it seems to run and it seems to uh, die when I hit the handle, so I'm going to call that good. Got another working mower. I think the battery is probably junk on the for the electric start, but other than that, it'd probably work. If I can find a charger, I might try charging it up and see if it'll take a charge. But uh, for now, I'm going to call that good. Well, when I was digging through the blue buckets, I found this itty bitty baby chainsaw, and I pulled it, and it seemed to fire. So. Let's see if it'll run. I didn't think the brake worked for a second, but uh, I got it working. Sounds like it's not getting any oil, so maybe the oiler doesn't work, but I'll have to open that up and check it, but we might have a good little baby chainsaw. Well, I took it apart because I didn't think the oiler was working, but uh, I ran it without the bar on there, and the oiler is working. I think there was just so much crap in there that it was blocking it, but I noticed that uh, the clutch here one of those is broken. I don't think I have another one like this laying around, but it still works, so I can use it, I guess, if I need to. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be a okay little software, little stuff anyway. And if I happen to come across another one, I might switch that out. I really didn't see anything else wrong with it, other than that. So put it back together, and oh, I know what I saw the switch doesn't want to shut it off all the time so I might have to look at that but other than that it looks like it might be a okay little saw well that turned out to be a pretty decent haul I got at least one good mower maybe two I'll have to look into that one a little more it runs but I don't know what else might be wrong with it it doesn't shut off but I also got a little baby chainsaw and I looked at this one I went ahead and I pulled the cord on it and fired up second pull but the, uh, the front end there and the auger part is pretty pretty mangled and rusted so I don't think I'll be saving that one. You can see it's all tore up in there. But the engine's good anyway so maybe I'll take that off and use it for something else. Uh, I still have to pull the starter off if it works. I don't think the uh, engine's going to be much good. It's <laughs> been open for a while but yeah not too bad. I may look at a few other things, but if nothing else, they're scrap. So. Haul them out and throw them in the pile, I guess.